Okay, your name is? Devin, Devin Nordstrom. Devin, how old are you? I'm 16. What grade are you in? I'm going into my junior year of high school. Uh, what kind of high school do you go to? Is it private? Yes, I go to a private Christian high school. I go to Village Christian. How fashionable is it to be openly conservative or Republican among your, your friends? Um, generally, it's not very popular. Uh, so, like, so most of my friends, they kind of just deal with it because most of my friends actually are not conservative like I am. But um, they kind of just deal with it mostly. So it's not very popular at school. How about here, among people your age, what do you find, what kind of reaction are you getting to your shirt? Um, I find that there are actually a lot, of mo a lot more conservatives that are young, that are like the post-millennial generation. Um, actually, on that, uh, the post-millennial generation, we're supposed to be the most conservative since the baby boomers. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. So um, I've actually noticed that there are, there are a lot more than I expected. What about the show here appeals to you, considering that there seem to be so many liberals? Do there? Uh, yeah, just seeing another viewpoint, especially like with a bunch of other people, it's a great uh, platform to hear different ideas. Like uh, seeing Ann Coulter, that, that was awesome. Uh, the debates, they're just awesome to see the two viewpoints go head to head. So that's what I love about this. Do you feel that uh, liberal people are open-minded to conservative points of view that they hear presented here? Um, here, not totally. I feel like we as conservatives, we have to be compassionate. Um, and doing that, I feel like they'll have more of an open mind to it. I, I generally feel that anybody will be open to new ideas if you approach them not so like telling, not so like shoving things down their throat. But if you have an open mind to hear their side of the story, they'll have an open mind to hear your side of the story, too. Do you feel that there's a social pressure among people your age to uh, be liberal and oppose President Trump? Yes, I definitely do feel that. Um, I feel like a lot, like I've had a lot of people say, you're young, you're a person of color, um, half African American, that you should uh, oppose Donald Trump. So I, I definitely do feel that. So why don't you uh, fold to that pressure and just march with the uh, with, with the mob? Um, well, it's because the thing is, like, the uh, the thing that's right is never going to be the hard, uh, is never going to be the easy thing to do. So it's like you you always got to like stand up for your personal opinions and like how I see um, the facts like show me that like my point of view generally like is right to like not have to force people to do anything like an example of that is healthcare. like since when have an american citizen been forced to like buy a per, uh, product so it's like like that it's, it's a land of the free it's like and then we're forced to buy a product it just doesn't really make any sense so to force like your um opinion down other people it's like that's just not okay in like this country is there pressure from the teachers or the teachers teaching a particular bias in your view I don't think so at all. Not no. At my school, not at all. They're, my school, um, they're generally very open to like either way. They they don't really impose their side of the story or their side of the political compass at all on me. No. So do you feel like you're part of the counterculture now because the? Oh yeah, I definitely do. Yeah, I'm on my counterculture. Yeah, um, definitely. Also, especially being uh, a younger person and a person of of color, I, d I definitely do feel that, yeah. And is that daunting to you? Um, I wouldn't really say daunting. I think it, I think it's more, of, I'm more optimistic about it. Uh, I think it's pretty cool, so, yeah. You feel like a rebel? Uh, I actually do. I mean, now it kind of, it's not as much because we won the election in 2016, but definitely for eight years, I mean, the leftist agenda was like really shoved down our everybody's throat, and not and not and not even their agenda, but like more of the like ideological thinking was shoved down our throat. So yeah, I definitely do. Yeah, very well spoken. Yeah, that was good. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, great. Super. Who do you go to?